Hey guys, so another nurturing tutorial in HubSpot in this video will cover about how you can create a workflow to notify a team member when someone responds to your email. So regardless if it's a standalone email or an automated email. So we have this marketing, we have this all emails in here. And let's say this one, so I'm going to go into the details here. Um, so far, we have three contacts responded to that email. And sometimes we, not sometimes, but we always miss this part. So I think that creating a workflow that it will notify our team member will help us to nurture the contacts and build connection. So what I'm going to do in here is go into the workflow station, go to the automation and then workflow, and then we will create a workflow here, a blank workflow. I'm going to call it a contact-based workflow and then click next. And it's also a blank workflow, by the way. And then what I'm going to trigger is a um, email or marketing emails. And if it's about, let's say this marketing email, let me grab that name here. So if the email, if, if someone, so I can come up with something in here, if someone respond this email marketing, and you can also add more email, by the way, or even forms, you can also do that. Like if it's a client, um, like form inquiry, you can add more um, like channels to trigger uh, an email notification, okay? So let's say we have that, and then I will add another email in here. So I want to notify myself or a team member. So I'm gonna do an internal email notification. I want to notify myself as an example. And then you can also choose a department, by the way, if you want to, instead of targeting an individual user or individual team member. Quick break. By the way, I just want to share with you this tool that I am using that helped me to sound clear on my recording. This Chris tools allow you to remove any background noise, whether it's a barking dog, baby crying and such. Let me give you an example with this baby crying in here. I was informed only yesterday that we should participate in a conference that's coming up next month. I've already shared my screen with you so you can see all the requirements in this document. Look at that difference. You can sign up for free as well using my link description below. Back to the tutorial. So we can have something like first name and then last name. replied to our marketing email and then hi another customized thing we can use owner first name and last name another personalized token first name and last name reply to our email marketing please check the records below and for the records below you can copy paste this link in here called um https app that hubspot.com and then slash contacts slash the number of your hubspot you can see the number of your hubspot under the this one with this avatar in here and this is your um hubspot contact number and then we will add another token in here called record id okay basically when someone responds to our marketing email um one of the team member or me will receive an email notification or an email about this one and this link here will change depending on who is the contact respond to the email this will redirect to the contact card 
like something like like let's try to go to to a contact a sample contact um yep so that one it will be redirected there so as you can see here up that hubspot.com slash contacts your hubspot id contact slash this slash one is the record id so since it's a real time like if they respond to the email you will definitely see this the email that they respond on top of the, the to this activity well if you don't want an email notification you can also use a task to really isolate all the inbound um, you know inquiry to the hubspot platform so yeah there is a task here so here create a task and then still the same you use the the like first name token and the last name token thing actually i can just drop everything from this send email and then put it over on the like to the task like this one it's still the same hubspot will still read it for the title as well you could put up a, a um, first name and last name token so if you want the notification to be on the HubSpot portal, you can use the task instead of an email notification. The other thing that you can do as well is the like converting it into a deal. Now, this doesn't make sense for a, an in uh like a first stage of you know nurturing because this is a newsletter and it's not yet a client or something. But in case you have a newsletter for your client and um you want to nurture your, your client, then you can have the um records, you can use the records thing re create a records and you have an options whether you want it to convert it to ticket or into a deal deal is more into a um like if it's a really the client and you are um into the sales process already um yeah so that's um yeah for for the pot for the conversation or the inbox i think what you can do here is you set up an email that um, you set up the channel first into your your inbox and then you let's say you have a channel i have this channel in here called conversation inbox this podcast thing is redirected to our podcast at so you need to configure your email address first into your inbox and then um, set up an email notification and assign the recipient to the um to the email address that you created um you created um it's if that is a bit confusing let me know i'll be happy to set up a call with you guys i think this is super helpful for um nurturing clients and you know pros prospect leads so yeah that's the reason i decided to come up with this tutorial if you have any question let me know you can also check my link description below um if we need assistance related to nurturing and hotspot thing Thank you and have a great day.